Hi, here I am Dr. Zell and the topic is rickets. Rickets as disease of a green bone that is due to unmineralized protein matrix that is astride at the growth plates that it occurs in children before the fusion of epiphysis. Rickets do occur because of vitamin D disorders are due to calcium deficiency or phosphorus deficiency or in certain diseases and syndromes which are associated with rickets. Vitamin D disorders may be due to nutritional cause or the congenital or in case of chronic kidney disease where the phosphorus deficiency it occurs when inadequate intake or disorders and the syndromes and the diseases which likely are associated with rickets are like as Fanconi syndrome and Dan's disease. Rickets do present with certain signs and symptoms. The signs are such as the general signs are like is delayed in walking with waddling gait and the head structure gives the signs such as the craniotapes that's in the soft skull and may present with frontal boffing which gives the head a box like or square headed appearance and may occur with delayed fontanelli cloyers and with delayed dentition and with dental caries and may present with craniosyntosis. Rickets present with chest signs such as rachitic rosary that creates a row of beads under the skin on clinical examination there's are actually seen in secondary to costochondral junction widening and the chest may present with Harrison groove that is a groove at the lower end of rib cage so that lower chest is drawn in with flaring of the rib margins Rickets may present with certain back signs which may be like is scoliosis or kyphosis or may present with lardosis. And the signs in the extremities may be like is enlargement of uh, wrists and ankles, uh, valgus or vagus deformities anterior bowing of uh, tibia and femur, coxfera, and may present with leg pain. Rickets may be diagnosed with certain markers. The most important laboratory marker to diagnose the rickets is serum alkaline phosphatase, which is typically high. Whereas the serum calcium may show low level and serum phosphorus may also show low level where the vitamin D level in case of vitamin D related rickets is low. Rickets is diagnosed on radiologically typically shows the widening of the zones of the provenal calcification of the metaphysis secondary to the unmineralized osteoid resulting into cupping, fraying and splaying of metaphysis and usually occurs at the sites of rapid growth including the proximal humerus, distal radius, distal femur and even on the proximal and distal tibia. In this chest x-ray, here you can see the expanded anti-rib ends of rickets that is classically rachetic rosary appearance. 
In this radiograph, here you can see bowing of tibia and fibula of both legs. Here you can see cupping, splaying of uh, the metaphyseal ends of tibia and widened physis. In this radiograph, here you can see metaphyseal splaying, cupping and fang and generalized astropenia. In this radiograph, here you can see fraying, spraying and cupping of the distal radius and ulnar metaphysis and widening of the physis. In this radiograph, here you can see once again that there is a cupping, fraying and spraying of the ulnar and the radius distal metaphysis and also in metacarpal metaphysis. Please subscribe my channel for more videos and updates. Yeah.